Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. Today I'm going to show you how I make my goo bases. Start by taping over the hole in the base and give it a shot with spray primer for grip. Then use cork to make your rock formations. Some people cut up wine corks. I got a bunch of cork sheets from a hardware store. I think they might be flooring material. Rip up the cork to get some nice rough edges and then stick it to the base with PVA glue and give it plenty of time to dry. Now we're going to add the model so that we don't get in its way later. Pin all the way through the cork to the base below. The cork alone is not enough to hold up the metal model. Now we get to add debris. Keep an eye out for cool things to use in your hobby. I have leftover model bits, corrugated card, barbed wire, textured plastic card, and gears from a clock. I recommend sourcing your clocks from a dollar store because it's cheap and the gears are plastic so you can chop them up. I'm also going to use an old brush cap to make a pipe. I recommend sealing the bits with watered down PVA glue. Now I textured the tops of the cork. I'm using Games Workshop's texture paint for this just because I was experimenting with it at the time and I want to match the rest of my army. Now we can start painting. Paint the base black and then when it's dry, dry brush all over it with grey followed by white on the very edges. Now paint the rest of your parts on the base. If you'd like to see how I've painted my rust, check out my earlier video. I paint the rim of the base black and finish the rest of the model. Now paint the bottom part of the base with a very bright green. I'm using P3's Necrotite Green. It's okay to be messy because now we're going to do a very rough dry brush up the sides. My Crix Army was an experiment with very rough messy painting, so I'm not trying to be neat here. You can dry brush any overhanging bits as well to make it look like the goo is glowing. Now to add water effects. I'm using Vallejo's water effects, which is a gel, not a pourable resin, so it won't make nice still pools, but it's good for this. I mix a little necrotite green into the gel for the first coat. It needs to be a very small amount or it will end up looking like wasabi sauce. If you want the gel to remain transparent, it might be better to add an ink instead of paint. Now I apply it all around the bottom part with an old brush. It will contract as it dries. To make my little waterfall out of the pipe, I paint a thin line of the water effects onto a surface smeared with Vaseline. When that's dry, I peel it off and use PVA glue to secure it to the pipe. Once the gel has turned clear, we can add more layers until we're happy with the thickness. I won't add paint to these top layers, just paint it straight out of the jar. Finally, I retouch up the rim of the base with black and we're done. You can get quite creative with it. If you cut the bottom of the model off, you can make it look like it's sinking into the goo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.